Options continue at the pit. For a list of events and times, go to KRQE.com and click on News Links. Hopefully the rain will stay away. Yes, it will. Events. Today has looked a lot worse than it's actually been because we've ended up with a lot of cloud cover, but not a lot of showers, and throughout the weekend, improving weather for the Pow Wow. Let's show you what's going on right now. All right, Northern Mountains, it has been a pretty good snow day across many areas of the north here in the Moreno Valley as we take this shot. They've gotten about four or five inches of snow, and you can see it accumulating here over the past six hours on some of the roofs across the north, and we did get one report of 11 inches of snow up along the New Mexico-Colorado state line. So a few areas did very well, but for the most part, a few inches of snow was about what we were looking at from this, and that's what we ended up with. Here's a look at what's going on right now. 56 in the metro, west winds 22 miles an hour. So winds are still a factor out there. Places like Carlsbad, still very windy, and we will see those winds die down throughout the night. Tonight, across the north, temperatures in the 40s and 50s for us, down to the south, anywhere from the 40s and so all the way up to the 60s around Carlsbad, 57 in Las Cruces. Here's the storm system now. The main storm system is at this point sitting over eastern Colorado. It is still wrapping around moisture into the Rockies and a little bit into northern New Mexico. This will continue for the next few hours. But for tomorrow, it's not that we're totally going to clear out. We're not. We're going to have partly cloudy skies, and we will see the chance of the shower continuing across the north. But it's not going to be widespread. So for the most part here, we are looking at an improving weather situation. Let's take a look at the next 48 hours as this storm lifts its way on out of here. High pressure starts to slide back in here. Clearing skies for tomorrow. Again, we'll see some cloud cover, but especially by late in the day, things are going to be pretty nice. And then by the time we hit Sunday, temperatures will be back into the 70s here in and around the metro area and to points down to the south as well. So for the most part, you can see less and less moisture around the area. So while we have a few showers tonight, you can see them largely diminish, although a few more snow showers across the north, definitely a possibility. And then tomorrow, late in the day, you can still see as we had, excuse me, later Later on into tomorrow, you can see those clouds starting to clear their way on out of here, and then maybe a spot shower or two across the north tomorrow afternoon. But again, it's not going to be the kind of situation where we're going to see a lot of widespread rain or snow. It's just not going to happen for us, and it looks like more and more the sky is clear as we head into Sunday, too, and then into the beginning of next week as well. Temperatures 50s and 60s across the four corners. Spot rain will remain a possibility here, but it's not anything I would plan around. And as you can see, for the next few days, things getting better in Durango. Temperatures all the way into the low 60s, high 60s in Farmington, and 70s into next week. Across the southwest, temperatures stop out tomorrow in the 60s and 70s, mostly sunny skies, a little breezy out there. Southeast looks good, too. Lots of sunshine. 73 Roswell, 71 in Fort Sumner, and 75 in Hobbs. The Roswell extended forecast looks great through the beginning of next week. Now, we do have the possibility of a storm Wednesday, Thursday, Friday-ish of next week. But let's wait and see how that shakes out. We're not too excited about that at this point, but if it becomes a factor over the weekend, we'll start talking about it on Monday. Give you plenty of notice on that. 64 Springer tomorrow, 61 in Roy, 60 in Mora. Still that chance at a stray shower, and because you guys are closest to the core of that storm as it pulls out, the winds could well still be a factor into tomorrow afternoon. Across the northern mountains, few snow showers tonight, and then tomorrow things getting better. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures starting to moderate. 40s and 50s in the mountains, 60s around Española, and 60 in Cuba as well. Santa Fe extended forecast, warming all the way to 64 on Sunday. Sunday and 71 on Monday looks pretty good. East Mountains, plenty of sunshine with temperatures for the most part in the 60s, although a little cooler up around Sandia Park and Cedar Crest. But temperatures will consistently warm over the next couple of days. Finally, right here in the metro area, partly cloudy skies tomorrow. We'll see that clearing really late in the day completely. 66 downtown, 65 on the heights, and 66 in Rio Rancho. That's why we think Gathering Nation is going to be just fine. And into Sunday, it looks great. Temperatures around 70 on Sunday, and then Monday and Tuesday, well in to the 70s before we see that chance at our next storm, but we'll deal with that when it gets closer. Looks nice for this yep. weekend. All right. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next. Meet the Golden Apple Award winners weekdays on KRQE News 13 and Casa Fox 2.